Alright, hey guys, here we are. This is Whispering Pines, hole number 7. Now you can see we got a bit of a tailwind here. So I wanted to show that this is one of the best opportunities to take advantage of these Pro DX balls with no wind reduction. Now one of the things that you'll see is I try to make my ball guide stay away from this water because it likes to, so you can see that I'm putting on the right amount of spin to make that ball guide go straight. And you can see that's almost all of it. Now aside from that, I'll typically play the rings and then push straight up. So if I wanna be over here, just pulling down here, I want to make sure that when I push back up, I'm more on this plane since it's pointed just slightly to the right. And even with that grade ball, probably going to register ultimate. This Pro DX does have a pretty slow needle. But you can see that we can get all the way up here to the fringe. It looks like it's just rolling back. And that's how this ball is so effective. Either other pin, you can see this is that third pin position. If it would have been, if it would have been here, you can see how short my ball arc is. Or here, you know, if I was just going off this rough right here, very short ball arcs. Now the only difference is this kind of stretches out a little bit. And the stretch out makes me need to play just a touch bit of wind. As you can see how much extra the shot arc is. So what I'll typically do is I'll rotate up to the side, try to estimate. So here you can see is the max line. I would estimate this to be about 50%. This to be about 20-25%. Very small arc right here. It looks like I may have to be on the north end of 25%. Just barely. Just a touch. So in terms of... I'm just going to open my pop-up view here in a second. But I'm thinking somewhere down around... 0.64 points. I think it's right around the 25, 26, 0.6 rings. And like I was mentioning, let's say, like, look how small it would have been. It would have only been like 0.10 had it been a little bit smaller arc. And that's going to almost not even move. So it kind of gets about six times as much in just a couple percentages. You know, we're talking, you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, somewhere in there. So here's my rings, we're going to go right to the side, right around there. That's about half a ring. So in the, it, I wouldn't have even really needed to play wind at point one. It would have basically just been, you know, edge of the cup. But now I have to go outside the edge of the cup because of the extra distance that I have to carry this. So keep that in mind, and it looks like I'm just light, but you get the idea. And you're going to see that you're going to be able to make this very, very easily. And you can just see, you know, that 0.6, and it looks like I, I went 0.5, I was being a little baby. So just an extra tenth there would have probably led to a perfect drop there. So keep that in mind. Good luck, and I'll see you guys on the next one.